Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys. This is Keith from KMA's Corner, and how are you doing today? We are in the midst of hell. No, <laughs> we are at the water temple that we are making into the Guardian Farm. And I've started putting up some of the redstone because, um, guess what? We are almost done with this, at least the wiring part. I have to get a little bit more gold for the parts where the torches are. And once I lay that down, I can basically turn this thing on and let it go. Well, actually, I gotta fill those things up with water up top. Then I can turn this thing on and let it start filtering. So let me show you what I've done off camera. I have made a whole bunch of carts that will go back and forth with hoppers on them. They will come back. Oh, bye bye. Come back later. <laughs> they will come back. And if they have something in their inventory, picking up things from the um, guardians up there, they'll unload them. Thank you for coming back, sir. And basically, um, the way it does it, there's a comparator under this block. Let me just destroy one. Oh, no. And it went over here. It's one thing about working with hoppers. Oh, it's all the way down. Yeah, okay. I'm going to have to get that later. I have this thing so wired up that it went all the way back there somewhere. But anyways, at least you can see this. It drops off. If there's any inventory in the hopper, it will stop. And the, the comparator will make it stop. And it will unload its stuff. And basically, I have two hopper chains. One chain that goes to where this torch is. Then it goes underground and back there into a sorting area. And the other chain, which I broke here, which as you see goes down there and it goes underground and goes back there. Now I'm going to break this thing a little bit to get it going. I don't have my, do I have anything on me? I don't have anything on me. Hold on. Lever. This is connected to this redstone right here and a repeater to extend the signal. And underneath this block where the redstone is, is a bunch of pistons, sticky pistons. And so when I hit this, this whole row of blocks goes this way over the redstone torch which turns everything on and I'm just gonna do it down here so you can see it better and everything goes out and that was good I saw the um, thing get hit sometimes I'm worried about these carts stopping this cart didn't go because there was no block behind it but you see um, if it picks up something it will stop and drop it and they start going uh, out of sync with each other. So let me stop this. And you saw, saw all the um, pistons pushing the wall back. Let me put this back on here. Um, yeah, that's the right way. So it is in work in order. So let me show you the control booth. This is the actual starting area. Um, this will look a little better. This is going to be my viewing room so I can view things. I don't think I'll be getting many spawns when I'm down here, but it doesn't really matter because I'm not <clears throat> really going to be spending much time here once this farm is done. But I wanted a viewing room so I could see everything going. There's going to be some glass across here and it's going to look good and all that. And I don't know uh, what I'm going to do. And I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the walls um, because obviously they can't look like that. So this is the operating room, and when things get done, being picked up, um, it will go down here. And as you see, I have a whole bunch of chests and a couple of item sorters. Um, it's pretty simple stuff. The two um, hoppers that I had going underground, one comes in this way, the other one comes in this way. And these are the back side of the pistons that push the block on to start this whole thing up. And there's that where I put the lever just a second ago. So um, Guardians only dropped three items. Those is which I'm basically wanting to get. Uh, these which I need to with those to make what I really want to get. And some fish food. And this will be like the extra things because Guardians do have raw um, rare drops like puffer fishes and clownfish. So with just that little thing going oh here's my blocks I lost <laughs> up front um, this is working pretty good and this one I made two of them because I had a feeling that um, 
machine's gonna be a little overloaded. So I'm a little afraid of that. Did I empty these? No. So I was um, a little afraid that this machine was gonna be overloaded. Doc M had the dispensers shooting things out and I don't know if I wanted to do that for lag purposes. But um, it is done. I just have to sit at the gold farm, get about mm, 20 stacks of gold. Then I gotta stick some dirt up there and cover everything with water and cut it all out and everything will fall. I don't know if I'm gonna set this up before I do the walls or after. It depends on if I have a good idea because I have a feeling by the time when I do all these walls and I get this farm running and the f farm is running with the while I'm making the walls that all these chests will be completely full by the time I'm done with the farm. Which is a good thing. I guess. Too bad I don't have an exchange downtown to sell this stuff to people, but it will be my first completed guardian farm and probably not my last. So, um, this, I gotta find the best place to stand to make the guardians, which will most likely be on a platform about 60 blocks above the top of this. Um, and then this thing will be done. So I'm going to do some work and um, get the gold, get these down, get everything so it's in running order. And then I will decide whether or not I'm going to start working on the walls or if I'm just going to fill up everything with water and just let the games begin then work on the walls later. Most likely I'll just do the water and let the games begin because it's been a little while since I've been working on this and it would be nice to see some uh, rewards from it. Let me put these in the right place. That one goes there and that one goes there. Let me put a torch there. <laughs> it was really uh, sad when I first made this and I got all the redstone in here. I, I took a nap because it was nighttime and I jumped over this thing and right there was a creeper. I was able to get out of the way before it blew up all my crop, but damn, that sucks. But anyways, <clears throat> off to do some work. It's and to do the it's right to do the round with shape. It's, uh, everything's covered. Everything we know is oh, it must be it's still in orange. Not only with orange. Hello guys, I am back. And as you can see from the amount of stone slabs I have on here, I am got this whole thing running now. Um, all the things are filled with water. 
and guardians are falling down there and I have minecarts picking this junk up what I was talking about earlier was I was thinking uh, it's kind of hard to see here let me go over here real quick um, alright yeah this is a level of the water right here and as you see um, the stone slabs are uh, a block and a half underneath and we got this two blocks down so I was thinking of getting rid of this layer of glass just the top one and covering this all up with glass I do have holes over here that I could fall down um, <clears throat> so I'd have to put a layer of glass over here just so water doesn't seep in but that is my plan for the future and I also noticed uh, in the last clip I had my render distance to 24 and right over there there's another um, guardian temple right in that area so I might use that to get extra sponges but that's for another day maybe I'll make a second guardian farm no I'm not that uh, masochistic but this is all done um, and I just gotta work on the looks of the thing and possibly fill this all back up with water again um, which would be my plan and I gotta get rid of this ladder but um, as you see guardians are falling um, things are picking up guardian poop or guardian flesh or guardian whatever and bringing them to where they need to go um, so it is pretty awesome you can see as these carts come along they suck everything up this guy is probably gonna get that thing yep yeah. and then they come down to the end here and they unload their stuff and they get sent out again I still have to put a row of blocks here just so I don't get in trouble um, obviously it's not done done um, looks wise but it is pretty much done um, you know to get the stuff I need and obviously I want to make it look good so there'll be a wall here um, so you can't actually go from the thing over here there'll be a wall blocking it there'll be an entrance to go up there and stuff so let's see what it looks like from my observation deck and I gotta figure out the best place to hang out to get the best bonds and you know honestly as you see everything falling I don't really need to go up top and despawn all the caves down here um, because this is single player and the amount of crap I'm getting is just simply amazing so I'm not too worried about finding the ultimate space to stand to get the best stuff for my money so this is done um, I just need to put some things on the wall and I have certain things I had uh, in mind now I'm starting to flush out those ideas um, I'm gonna use some Minecraft stuff and references to my real life of things I really really enjoy uh, logos of band maybe um, maybe logos from other games in here kind of a pixel art type area but that's all to be worked out and stuff um, I'm surprised how many squids are popping up up there I don't know how much that really affects the spawns but eventually they do fall as I see I get uh, ink sacks and stuff and um, I do need to make a squid farm because I do like those dark can I see them here no I do like these dark green blocks so I want enough ink sacks or black dye or whatever to get uh, make these they, they're a good accent block I wouldn't make a building out of those but these are a great accent block when you're dealing with the other blocks so having this running for a total of maybe 20 minutes um, as I worked on some other stuff I hear a slime. He better not be down here. I'll be upset. Hmm. As long as he's in the cave, I don't care. 
But, uh, let's see. Um, I'm getting some ink sacks. No rare fishes. Tons of fish food. Um, tons of shards. And tons of my favorite thing. Prismarine crystals. And that, you know, the other side. And you can see, ooh, well, not anymore. I really don't like hearing that slime. And, you know, plenty of food. I guess I'll be eating fish for the rest of my life. And Guardian Pixel Art. <laughs> yeah, I had to write that in there because I had to forget. I'm going to just make a little pixel art of a Guardian face here or something. And, you know, I also get to redo this room, cover up the backs of these pistons and put a roof on this. So there's lots of work to be done here. But the main thing that this video was able to do in this video is to finish the farm, you know, and collect all this awesome stuff so I can work with these green prismarine blocks that rock the world. So I hope you respect the fact of all the time I did on this. This was one huge ass mother effing project. And why are you out there? You... I gotta... I gotta really block these holes. Because you're annoying me. Yes. You are annoying me. Annoy. Annoy. Give me your stuff. I am basically depleted the world of Lapis. And unfortunately... I want most of these walls to be blue. So I may do a sheep farm... And the next episode, I don't know. This is just an idea. I may do a sheep farm in the next episode so I can have plenty of colors, plenty of different blocks, excuse me, die on somebody else to get the proper things I need to get to um, get the pixel art on these walls done properly. So I don't know what I'm going to do. I've been focusing so much on getting this done and I haven't really thought of other projects. There's plenty of other projects I have. As a matter of fact, I do have a project in mind. I have been collecting. Um, every time I come on, log on, I get myself a stack of obsidian. Because I'm going to need about 450 stacks of obsidian for one of my projects here. And um, it's going to be part of my storage room, I think. So, I do have ideas in mind. It's just I've been focusing so much on getting this done. And now that <clears throat> it's working and I'm getting the blocks. And I'm obviously going to use the blocks for the walls and stuff. So, I'm hanging out here just collecting blocks. Probably not the best place to hang out. Because, whatever. I should make a pillar up there. But I don't really care because this is good enough for me. There's tons of items being picked up every second. <laughs> And I'm very happy with the way the farm's working. Everything seems to be working fine. And the spawn rates are pretty decent. I'll take it. So yeah, I'm 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 happy with this. Um, and it does need the aesthetic works to look better. But this this farm rocks. If you have the patience to do it, I suggest you do it. Just expect that what you think you know. I'm going to need a certain amount of stacks of woods to do the fence gates and stuff. Well, I've come to realize that my expectations of what I've needed is usually about 25 times short of what I actually need. I'm just rambling because this has taken a long time and I'm just happy that it's done. And I'm trying to go let you guys know how much of an ordeal this was. But I, I think you guys already got the idea from my other videos. But I think um, definitely worth it uh, if you do have the time. In my case, I had to have an organ removed in my body to find the time to do this. <laughs> um, I'd suggest you guys don't go to those drastic means, but it is done. Uh, any ideas on the walls, let me know. And um, please let me know on Twitter. I have posted a link on Twitter because... This video is going up a couple of weeks after I'm recording this right now. So let me know on Twitter and you're going to hear this and go, well, it's already been done. So 
um, answer my questions on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter because I'll ask questions on what I should do in this world all the time. And if you don't know, my name on Twitter is KMA's Corner, just like the YouTube channel. And um, give me ideas. I'll ask questions on there all the time about this world, what I should do and stuff. And I usually do what you guys ask of me. So please ask of me or answer my question, please. So, I hope you enjoy this video. It's been a fun one. It's been um, a frustrating one. It's, But a massive project has been finished. Massive. Now I have these things. Those things. I love the lights that these things create. I love it. So, I'm very happy. I hope you guys are happy. So, so show some support for doing a single player vanilla guardian farm like this. Um... And follow me on Twitter because there's going to be questions on Twitter about this world. And seeing I'm hoping to be two to three weeks ahead because I only upload these once a week. So two to three videos ahead. Uh, follow me on Twitter to um, see what's coming in the future. So I hope you enjoy the show. And I will see you another day. Yeah, it, the reason why I hesitated there, and I'll just tell you right now. Um, <clears throat> I start the episode, welcome back my friends to the show that never ends, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and then I do my old intro. The reason why I started doing that, when I was a kid, I grew up listening to classical music. This is a little background in Keith. I grew up listening to classical music. And one of the first uh, rock persons I heard, I heard because he did a lot of classical music. And that guy was Keith Emerson. And Keith Emerson was in a band called Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. And they had an album, um, a live album, and a song called Carnival 9. And the first lyrics in the song are, Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm so happy you can attend, and whatever, whatever, whatever. But Keith Emerson just passed away the last couple of weeks. And seeing that he, he was my namesake and I ran into him when I was eight years old, he rocked my world when I was a kid. And it was actually a very hard death on me. Even though he's not a big rock and roll star, he was just part of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, um, he meant a lot to me in my life. So I'm kind of doing the welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends at the beginning of the videos to kind of as a homage to him. So, um, you'll be seeing that for a while until I find something else to do. So, I hope you enjoy the show. Come back again, because the show is never going to end again in the next episode. Goodbye. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Thank you. Thank you.